up party people and welcome back to my channel. So today we are testing out some new drugstore makeup. So let's get into it. First thing I have is this new palette from Essence. This is called the Shake It Up Ice Caramel Latte Palette. So this is $15 at Ulta and you get 22 shades, shimmers, mattes, the whole nine yards. I feel like the packaging does not do the quality of the shadows justice at all because this is actually a very high quality performing palette. First off, everything is so easy to work with. The mattes blend out and go on so dreamy, buttery, smooth, soft, everything you're looking for in a matte eyeshadow. The shimmers in this are that perfect high shine, buttery, smooth, pigmented, looks like a cream shadow on the eyes kind of formula. I will say there is a little bit of inconsistency with some of the shimmers. There are some in here, like this one, for example, that it seems like they're pressed in here a little bit differently than the others. They aren't as pigmented, aren't as buttery smooth, but I feel like the palette is overall still worth it because the majority of them do not perform like that. So here's a few of the shimmers. So like I said, they're that really high shine, super high quality feeling shimmer. Um, look at that, they're just so buttery smooth. I will say there are a few shades that I feel like they could have mixed up a little bit because they do look like other shades in the palette. So it looks like you're almost getting duplicates, but Mm, look at that shine. Here are a few of the mattes. We have a little sequin matte shade in there. So it's got some sparkle in the formula. No drag, no pull, no dryness at all. <clears throat> I honestly have no major qualms with this. I feel like if you like warm tone shades, you will love this palette. Essence just came out with their new Lash Without Limits Mascara. It has a cone shape wand and it really reminds me of something, but I can't put my finger on it. It does have a flexible wand. So there is some give to it, which I personally like a more stable wand. I feel like it's kind of hard to really push the wand into your lashes and go root to tip and wiggle and, you know, do all the all the works without it, you know, knock it back into your eyelid or just being messy. So I wish that they had made it a more stable wand. But they also came out with a mascara primer. This is the Lash Princess Mascara Primer, which is also supposed to give you extra length and volume. So yeah, on this side, I have two coats of the mascara by itself with no lash primer. And on this side, I have one coat of the lash primer and two coats of mascara on top. So the mascara by itself does give very big, bold lashes. If you're someone that likes va va voom, a lot of volume, a lot of length, that really dramatic effect, I think you will really enjoy this. For the most part, I do like the effect, but I will say a problem that I've seen almost across the board with maybe the exception of two or three mascaras from Essence, like there's a lot of them that I love the effect of them, but they flake on me. And almost every time I've used this, maybe with the exception of once or twice, it's flaked pretty bad. The Lash Primer. So this is a minty green primer and it smells like there's aloe, like a, a body wash or a lotion or something. It smells very aloe-y. And at first it looked like my lashes were really amped up. They were a lot longer, they were thicker. Like I had a good feeling about it. I usually like to let it dry for at least one to two minutes. I did my mascara on this side. It had ample time to dry. And by the time I came back to this side, the lashes had fallen so badly. It was droop city. But I will say, I feel like when I went into the mascara, it did push the lashes up a little bit. They're not as straight and flat as they were with just the lash primer. And I could see a little bit of a difference in terms of, I felt like it was building faster. Like it's a pretty fast acting, fast building mascara on its own, but I do feel like it worked a little bit quicker with the lash primer underneath. And when it's all said and done, I do feel like the lashes look a tad bit thicker on this side with the lash primer, but they're also kind of jolting into each other and doing the weird like spider leg looking thing. For me, the lash primer is not necessary, but the mascara, I'm kind of all the fence about it. Again, I like the effect, but I'm not willing to sacrifice wear. I'm all about longevity and really good wear. So for concealer, this is one that I've talked about before. This is the NYX Pro Fix Stick Correcting Concealer out of the shade Vanilla. So before when I tested it out, I only used it for blemishes on my face, but today I wanted to use it for under eye concealer. And first off, this is a super full coverage, opaque, creamy, buttery kind of texture. It is very high end feeling. I had mentioned in the first video where I talked about this, I was afraid that it'd be too drying for under the eyes, but honestly, there's a lot of slip to this. So I don't really feel like it's too drying. Right now, I don't see any issues. It looks buttery smooth. It blended out so well. If I have any wear issues with this, if this starts looking crepey or dry or textured or starts going downhill at all, I'll come back and show you a little snippet of what it looks like later on and give you a little update, but 
so far so good. I'm actually pretty impressed at how it's looking under the eyes. For bronzer slash blush, this is the Physicians Formula Butter Glow Bronzer and Blush. So yeah, it's their typical butter formula where it smells very coconutty, very beachy, summery. Now do we need this much scent in our makeup products? No. This is just one of those multi-toned kind of things. You've got a really light peachy pink shade in here. You've got a couple of lighter, almost highlighter type shades. Everything in here has a slight sheen. No glitter, no sparkle, nothing major like that where you're gonna see it on the skin. The way it's formatted, you can't really pinpoint your brush into an individual shade unless you're you know kind of sticking to this light pink shade right here or this bigger bronzy shade right here i actually did apply it differently on each side so on this side i dipped my brush into all of them yeah there's what it looks like on that side and then on this side when i first started out i really try to focus more on the bronzer shades on the left side and then i went into the pinky peach shade and just put that around the apples of my cheeks but it, it doesn't really look different like this is one of those things where it's like just just mix them all together. When I first started using this, I really didn't see the appeal in it. It just felt like your average bronzer. Then I realized that this really shines as kind of a dual product. Like it really does dual as your bronzer and blush and also a little bit of a highlighter. I really have found myself enjoying this, especially on those days where I am in a rush or I feel lazy or I just wanna throw it on and go. It makes it look like you did more than what you actually did. It just gives you that really natural looking glow. It blends and marries into the skin so beautifully and naturally. It's not overly opaque to where you have to worry about, oh, I put too much right here. I have to spend a few minutes buffing that out. Like it truly does the work for you. It also wears really well too. I feel like it wears just like the other butter bronzers from their line. So yeah, I really have no complaints about this. I actually really enjoy this. So for highlighter, this is the Makeup Revolution Bean Bright Highlighter. I got the shade Pink Seduction. This is $12 at Ulta. And I normally go for a more champagne, gold, bronzy kind of tone, like something that looks like my skin tone. But I kind of wanted to try something that had more of this like ethereal, angelic, pinky kind of hue to it. Like, you know, not quite a blush topper, but you know, something that would just mesh with blush really well and not look like a stripe single on the top of my cheekbone, you know? This shade, first off, is exactly what I was looking for. This is so glowy, so long wearing, buttery smooth, doesn't emphasize my texture, my blemishes, lines, hair, nothing. This is probably the best product I've tried from Makeup Revolution ever. And then last but not least, we have some lip products. So I feel like every brand is coming out with their version of the Tarte Maracuja lip balm, lipsticks, whatever they're called, the ones that had the little clicking mechanism, the clicking pins. So yeah, this is NYX's version. So this is the Fat Oil Slick Click Shiny Lip Balm. I got two shades. DM Me, which is more of a purpley undertone shade, and Going Viral, which is what I'm wearing right now. But I'm not sure what I was thinking when I bought DM Me because it is a very unflattering purpley undertone shade. It it clashes with my skin tone. It clashed with my eye look. It was just no bueno. But going viral, this is my jam. This is the perfect everyday kind of shade. It is so wearable. It's something that I feel like is going to look good with everything. Like no matter what's going on in your eyes, like it's just going to look good with everything. The shine of this is legit. It truly does feel like a lip balm. It's very, very moisturizing. It feels super comfortable. I've been wearing this now for at least an hour without any touch-ups and it's still going strong. It's exactly what I'm looking for in a lip product. Like I am very shocked by this because I usually can't find lip products that look good by themselves without lip liner. And I don't have lip liner on and I love this. Now I will say I've not tried a lot of these click pin products. Like I've not tried the, the Tarte Maracuja one. I've not tried the e.l.f. click pin, but I feel like this is something that wouldn't hold up very well in the summertime. I could see this being something that if you threw it in your purse in the summertime or left it in your car, it's probably gonna melt everywhere. If you guys have tried anything that I talked about today, then make sure you leave your review in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Turn the notification on to see all my stuff and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.